Hey Reefers, how's it going? Been a while since I did an update, so I figure I'll pop up a quick video. Um, as you can see, SpongeBob is still living in my tank. That means I have not been able to find a coral that will fit in that this spot right here. Um, and again, I'm filming with my X100S, so I'm trying to pull some manual focus. I'm trying to be fancy over here. Uh, so the Bengai Cardinal fish are still alive and well, really healthy, um, eating like pigs. I've been able to kind of wean them down to um, feeding once every two or three days and uh, I've been keeping close watch to their stomach and they are as full as ever so I'm really glad that I do not have to feed every single day although if I can I would um, as I mentioned Spongebob is still here uh, love it <laughs> I don't know what else to say so let's move on to here I kind of goofed up uh, with my fire and ice coral or zoas Oh man, I'm still terrible at focusing. As you can see, like a lot of the polyps are closed. That's because um, yesterday morning, uh, okay, well, first of all, it's on kind of like a replug sideway and it's kind of wedged into that rock. And almost like every other day, it's been being knocked over by hermits or snails or crabs. So I decided enough is enough. I'm gonna try to uh, super glue it onto that rock right there because it's like a great spot for it. So I pick up the tube of super glue I have and went to town with it. The problem is it was not super glue gel. It was regular super glue, which I did not notice at all. So what ended up happening is that as I put the glue to the back of the reef plug, it ran to the front and over all the zoas. I was freaking out. Um, so what I did is I, I wait for it to kind of semi harden and start peeling them off. Um, of course, I cannot really get them all, um, especially be between the crevices. Um, but I managed to get most of it off, and as you can see, I probably cannot see from the back side. Uh, most of the, the polyps are open. There are a few more up front that's not open, so either they're still mad or there's a layer of super glue keeping it closed. So I'm gonna give it like another day, another day or two to see if it opens up or not. If not, I'm gonna take a closer look and possibly peel off more hardened super glue. So that's one big goof that I did. Uh, so lesson learned, next time when I do this, I'm gonna make sure it is super glue gel, not the regular super glue type because they tend to run. Um, and yeah, even, even with that, it did not stick properly to the, to the rock. So today I went out and I bought a proper one, super glue gel. And you may say like, hey, I should, you should use a epoxy. But when I use epoxy, it's not really holding tight enough. I tried twice and it always comes loose. So I'm gonna try and use super glue gel to see if I can kinda, well, there's already kinda like a seat created using your proxy. So I just gotta glue it to the epoxy seat to make sure it doesn't shift. So fingers crossed. Once it opens up fully, I'm gonna give it another go with the super glue gel. Uh, besides that, I noticed that on my Tubbs Blue Zoas, if I can focus, You'll also see that there's actually a bunch of blue cove corals. Um, I remember, or oh, sometimes they call them like snowflakes coral. I remember back in the days, a lot of people want it, but a little research online nowadays, it seems like people actually don't want this. Um, they say it's kind of invasive, which I don't mind at all because I feel like they look gorgeous. Um, and I'm talking about those like cove corals in between the zoa polyps. So those are known the blue cove. Moving on up, not much have changed. I've been, be, I've been a pretty good boy and have not added anything new. And up here, we see the Xenia are still doing well, although they do not seem to open as fully as in my fellow reefers tank, for whatever reason. Um, but I've just been kind of letting them acclimate. It's been about three, four weeks. They have not started spreading yet, at least I don't think they have. Um, but they seem happy, although the tentacles are not really opening wide for whatever reason. Uh, and you can see the rose bubble tip anatomy has decided to kind of stay in that area, which I'm really glad because a while back it was behind that rock where I couldn't see it. So I've been there for about two and a half weeks now, and I think he's there to stay. And he actually started bubbling up a little bit, which is kind of cool. And honestly, that's pretty much it, except for the fact that the green algae seems to be 
coming back in force. Um, the glass is relatively clean. I still need to scrape the glass maybe um, once a week. But the rock, you can see um, the predominant color is green now. So I'm really hoping the Caroline algae will start taking off. I'm starting to see some specks, if you can kind of, I'm not sure if you can see in the video. Um, among, among the green, especially towards us, there are like specks of purple. So I know the Caroline algae is starting to grow. But at the moment, um, we're still seeing a lot of uh, green algae, which is not too pleasant. So I'll give it maybe a month or two and see um, if the green algae kind of gets outcompeted. If not, then it may be time to add a little bit of, sna a little bit of snails. A little more snails. Sorry, man. I seriously cannot speak tonight for whatever reason. So let's take a step back. If I can get this in focus. There you go. So here's the tank as of June 21st, I believe today is. Fish are healthy. SpongeBob is healthy. Ah. So the, um, what's it called? Long spine urchin did not make it. I'm really sad about it. I think it actually may, may have been starved. Um, same thing with the two turbo snails. They just kind of passed away. Um, I think just not enough food in this tank for them, even with uh, supplemental feeding. But I kind of caught the two turbo snails early. And I was able to pull them out of the tank before they completely de decompose. It was really sad. Uh, Conk is still doing well. I'm still kind of rotating him between the main tank, main display, and the sump. So yeah, just a quick video update. Not too much have been done to the tank. Um, I've been trying to avoid the <laughs> buy-sell forum of local reef club. And just kind of give the tank a chance to settle in. And I'm still kind of waiting for the pair of perfect clam. All right, well, this is it for this update, and until next time, talk to you guys later.